Hey guys, welcome to A Journey in Light. Today's pick a card is on will he or she return? So will they come back? What are they feeling, thinking about returning? Those kind of things. Um, we have four piles. We have pile one, pile two, pile three, and pile four. So take a moment, kind of focus in on your pile. If you're drawn to more than one, then you could have a message in both. So feel free to check them out. Um, and always remember these are general readings, so not everything's going to apply specifically to your situation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. I do personal readings as well. You can email me at my email in the description box below um, for more information on readings um, or getting a personal reading. And uh, yeah, and thank you guys for being here. If you do like, um, please like, subscribe, comment, let me know what's going on. Find me on Instagram. Um, I do a lot of just feel good kind of posts and quotes, things like that. I do some small pick cards there as well, um, but I'd love to have um, connect on Instagram as well. You can send me a message if you need to talk about anything, things like that. So, all right guys, so again, this is pile one, pile two, pile three, pile four. The timestamps will be in the description box below. And uh, I will see you guys at your pile. Thanks, guys. If you're watching right now, I apologize. Because they're not wanting to move over the way I want them to. Two, three, Hey, pile two, or sorry, hey, pile one. Um, okay, I'm already ahead of myself. So pile one, this is your your stone. I cannot think of the name. It starts with an S, but it's really pretty. Um, I should have pulled my cards out, but it's, it's a pretty cool stone. So very masculine stone. All right, guys, so let's see what will your special person be back. I'm going to lay these all out and then kind of look over the energy and then we'll discuss. So we have the devil. We have the hanged man. We have the ten of swords. We have the three of swords in reverse. We have the ace of cups in reverse. We have the devil in reverse. We have the Six of Cups in reverse, and we have Death. Okay, first off, if you're not familiar with tarot, don't be afraid. <laughs> no one's dying, nothing like that. Um, the Death is actually a, a good card, but so just, just putting that out there. But um, there will be, I'm going to just put a trigger warning on this one because there's a lot of heavy energies here. So if you're looking for a happy, fluffy, love, yay um, kind of thing, this is not your pile. But I'm going to be honest about all this stuff. It, again, it's not bad, but there's, there's some heavy energies here. So we'll do the Oracle cards later. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, let's get in to our tarot. Okay. I feel like this person definitely might have some codependency or you, in your relationship, you guys had some codependency issues or possibly an addiction issue. And that could be like, not necessarily completely to substances, but like going out, partying, almost a distorted view of love. Um, and what love really means. And just, you know, you know, like this is the lovers and they're kind of chained to each other. And you never really want to be chained to somebody. You want to be, you know, complimenting each other, not, you know, tied together. It's not a good way to be. So the devil energy is just kind of it doesn't mean the devil's involved. Again, if anyone's not familiar with tarot, but it just means like the negative side, like the, not that love is negative, but the stuff that isn't really love. It's like conditional love. Like, I will love you if you do this kind of stuff. So that's the energy we're kind of talking about. So if that relates with you, feel free to finish this. So 
I feel like that person has definitely been in that energy, almost like a conditional kind of love, or they're addicted to partying or, you know, possibly substances of some sort. I do feel like they've had a slight pause and a flip in their perspective with the hangman here. So they are seeing things a different way, but they're feeling, well, they were feeling very stabbed in the back by this breakup or, you know, regardless if it was their choice or your choice, I feel like they felt like it was unfair or possibly they're making, they made it out like they weren't taking responsibility for for their actions in this. Um, but they were heartbroken, even if they didn't want to, didn't want to tell you that. They definitely have a lot of hurt associated with this. But I almost feel like at the time they didn't see what was wrong with their behavior, but they have had a shift, and it kind of has helped them realize some of this stuff. Even though they're they're getting rid of this energy with them being in return, but. They still, I just get this feeling of they're not taking full responsibility. Almost like, I know there's that term right now, like gaslighting. Um, like they kind of like, almost like narcissistic behavior, like turning it around on you. Like, oh, well, you're just being too sensitive or I didn't really say that or you're remembering it wrong. Like changing changing the issues around to make you feel like you were at fault when you weren't. Like they weren't taking responsibility for any of their actions or behaviors in this relationship. Um, I know we're supposed to be talking about if they're coming back, but just kind of going over what I'm getting here. So if this relates, then, then you know. Um, then we kind of move in. We have the Ace of Cups, in re but it's in reverse. So the Ace of Cups is about coming to someone, you know, with an emotional offer or wanting to, you know, offer love or whatever. And I still feel like they're blocked there. But we have the devil again in reverse. So I do feel like this person is, again, and it's, you know, it's clarifying the hangman. So I feel like that shift in perspective is they're realizing that the stuff that they were doing that was unhealthy behaviors was not good for them. And so they're moving out of that energy. Um, we also have the Six of Cups, but it's in reverse. Six of Cups is about, you know, a celebration. It's a, it's a good... It's a good card. It's about nostalgia, stuff like that. So I feel like they're still healing. So they're not ready for that. But we have the death card. So, and the death is not a bad card. It's about the death of something and the rebirth of something new. So it's just of old patterns, things like that. So I feel like, I can't say just from these for certain if this person is coming back, but they're in a phase where they need to be. They're healing a lot of energies. Um... If this is a twin flame connection, you might have sparked a lot of inner healing with them. So they might be in the dark night of the soul. They're just in a really, not that it's bad, but a needed place to be. So if they do, if they are going to come back, it's not going to be now. And you won't want them to come back right now. They're not ready. They're not healed yet. They're, they're working on it. They're getting there. They're seeing that there needs to be a change in their behavior. I'm not sure if they're there yet, but they will be moving into this letting this old patterns die and re being reborn into a new kind of thing. So yeah, we have the masks. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I don't look at these before. I, uh, I, I just pull them and then look at them with you guys. So on the bottom, you can't really see that, but it says, not showing true feelings, hide, personify, pretend, delude, and gaslighting. So I definitely feel like maybe someone had some narcissistic behavior made you feel like you were in the wrong when you weren't. Um, it hurt them too, but they almost like project the pain to you. Like, I'm not taking this pain. I'm going to put it on you. But they're wearing masks and weren't being completely honest with you about things. Um, yep. So breakup, separation, the acts. I feel like, you know, they are giving you the silent treatment. Maybe they are like, okay, we broke up and they just completely just stop talking. It was a very swift breakup and kind of left you being like, uh, like they're like you, it was all your fault, blah, 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 disappeared. And you're left kind of like, Oh, what, what, what did I do? And you didn't do it. I mean, everyone does something wrong. No one's perfect, but I feel like, yeah, I just feel like it was very unhealthy behaviors. 
So if you're feeling in the energy, I'm sorry, like that, that's really hard. And people can change, you know, I truly believe, but they have to want to change. They have to see that. But having the hangman here is very good and having the devil in reverse is very good and death. So I think they're going to get there. I'm just not sure how quickly that shift is all going to happen. We have believe in the impossible, the blue moon. So this card, you can kind of read it both ways. It's like, uh, yeah, once in a blue moon. Um, but blue moons do happen. So I think it's going to be a while until they're healed enough to be the person that you need them to be anyways. But it is very possible. So still, if you, if you feel like this is an important connection and you want to still be there for them, you can hold space in your heart for them. But you don't have to wait for them. You don't have to put your life on hold for them. You need to live your life and experience your lessons. And if they, you know, if they're, you guys are meant to, like, what is meant for you will never pass you by. So then they will be back. But I, I feel the need to tell you that, you know, not to have any guilt if you want to move on and do some stuff. You can still, again, hold space for them in your heart. But right now, I just feel like you don't need to wait for this person to be back, like, within a couple weeks or anything. They have some real healing to do. Um, we have let go of control issues. So this can either be they had some controlling devil issues. Maybe you had like feel the need to control this. You need to let that go. And then we have summon. So this card is about um, actually, you know, you would think like summoning someone else. This is about summoning your inner gar goddess, like summoning the power and the magic within you. So maybe they're having that shift too. But also I feel like this is more for you. So start summoning like your inner strength. Because you've been through a whirlwind with this person, and it's not your fault. So we're going to pull some extra Oracle cards just for, like, some advice for, for you guys. So for Pile 1, who's been in some heavy energy, what is some advice for the viewer for Pile 1? It says, shift the energies. If you feel stuck, you can shift the energies. Do something that you love. Dance, sing, create, have fun. So the universe is asking you to shift out of this. You can't, you can't control this right now. You can't control how they're going to heal. You have to let them heal on their own. But shift your focus and do things that light you up and that help you have fun. Um, and we're going to do one of these healing, um, heal yourself reading cards. I really, really like these. I might pull the book out depending what card we get. Because um, I feel like there's a really good information all right, we got a card. Let's figure out what card that was. Family and tribe. So I'm going to read that. I'll try to be quick, guys. All right. Be very discerning with other people's opinions. Become aware of how the beliefs your family and tribe are influencing you. What did you learn about relationships, money, and opportunities when you were younger? Ask yourself, am I still carrying some of those outdated beliefs? Am I trying to seek love and approval from family by doing what they want me to do? An important question to ask yourself is whether you are living your life in order to make someone else happy or yourself happy. This card asks you to examine your loyalties, family beliefs, superstitions, and rituals that have power over you. Let go of anything that does not serve you. You are being asked to face your fears of being different and embrace your uniqueness if others don't understand or approve your actions. This, okay, what I'm getting from this for this situation, if this person, you know, did, had a narcissistic, if you're dealing with a narcissistic personality, they make you feel like you were in the wrong and all this stuff, like, it's time to let that go because their viewpoint of you isn't really you. So you need to shift your energies, go back to what makes you life, summon your inner strength, let go of needing to control this. You can still believe, you can still hold space for them, but you really need to focus on what truly makes you happy. So pile one, I know this is a heavy one. Um, there's nothing saying he won't be back, but he has a lot of healing to do. So that's my overall, you know, you can believe in the possible, the blue moon still happens, um, but I just feel like it, it's going to be a while. So you need to just to focus on yourself and uh, do what lights you up. And don't feel guilty about that. Um, 
yeah okay um so again if you did like this please like subscribe comment let me know follow me on instagram send me an email if you're interested in a personal reading um and thank you guys for being here i appreciate it Hey, pile two. We have the rose quartz. Let's see. This reading is about will he or she be back? Will your special special person, this is obviously you guys are in some sort of separation, will they be coming back? We have the eight of pentacles, judgment in reverse, the fool in reverse, the ten of wands, the Empress in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, Two of Pentacles in reverse, and the Eight of Wands. Okay. All right, guys, let me kind of look this over. I feel like they want to come back. They think about it a lot. Um, because we have, you know, the chariot is all about forward movement and the fool is about taking a leap of faith and starting a new beginning, but they're in reverse, so they're dealing with, you know, some inner stuff. They have some burdens. I feel like they might be just focusing on work right now. I also feel like they there's a part of them that really wants to come back, but they're afraid of what either if you're going to reject them, if you're going to judge them for how things went down. Like, I feel like they're feeling guilty for how things ended. And so they're not quite sure, even though they have this desire to want to come towards you. And even when we have, like, the Two of Pentacles, it's about juggling things and figuring things out. But they also can, you know, have a lot of things going. So they might have also a lot of burdens and things going on in their life. And so they're just kind of trying to figure it all out. That's what I get. Like, I feel like they, they want to. They're scared because they're afraid that, you know, I feel like it's like a, you were right. <laughs> and sometimes it's hard for people to admit that they were wrong. So, and they might feel a little bit like the fool, you know, but, you know, there's just a lot of block energies, but we end this with the eight of wands, which is all about forward momentum pretty quickly. So that that's a good one to end with. I think if they can get past this fear of wanting to apologize, I feel like they and just getting this like I need to apologize, but I have no idea. Like I did too much, and it weighs on them. Like their decisions and how this ended weighs on them, and they're not sure how to keep it all up in the air. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what other cards we have. We have the butterfly. Where are my other cards? Okay, I'm gonna pull some more because I'm missing cards. All right, um, that's weird. All right, so we're going to pull some cards here. So I had these all pulled. Um, I apologize. So we have the butterfly. Maybe whatever I pulled wasn't right. I will take that as a sign from the universe, and we're just gonna do this on the whim. Okay, so we have the butterfly and the phoenix. So those are about transformation. It's about healing a part of you. So I feel like they need to, they're in like a cocoon state or even in the ashes. Like this all went down. They're figuring all out how to rise again, how to come back to you. I do see them really wanting to return. They're just trying to figure it all out right now really crazy I have no idea where my cards went okay um let's see what else all right so pile two so I go with whatever the universe wants me to go with let your friends help you ask for ask for and accept support from others so I feel like they are asking their friends on what to do like they're not quite sure what to do about this relationship I just, I get this very big feeling of unsure, like they like want someone else to tell them how to handle it. If that sounds like them, then, you know, um, like they're, they're, I just, 
they're afraid to move forward. Um, so they are asking other people like their opinions and stuff and kind of thinking about that. Let's see, oh, well, we have meditate and contemplate. So they're, I think they're, you know, taking everybody's advice, kind of going within and figuring this out. Then we have differences. So also I feel like, you know, this ended over some differences of opinion on viewpoints on how things should be done or whatever. And so they're not sure if they were in the right or maybe they stood their ground on a difference. Like almost like, has anyone ever gotten like an argument and you just kind of say something and then you, since you said it, you just go with it. And while you're saying, you're like, why am I even doing this? But it's like you get on a roll. So I feel like that's kind of how it went. Like they, it just went down how they didn't want it to go down. They said things. They didn't necessarily mean that. It was like said in anger, like maybe about some differences that are going, you know, went on or whatever. Just, you know, almost like petty stuff, but it got blown up out of proportion is what I'm getting. But I do definitely feel like they want to come back. And we do have the wands here on the end. So that's typically like a quicker time frame. I just still feel like with these other cards, they need to figure this out. And they're just not sure how to apologize. So I want to get some cards for you, some advice. So let's see. What advice from this takeaway pile two that went a little crazy on me that's so weird i hope my cards didn't get smushed into another pile when i was shifting them that's weird okay <laughs> you guys are you might be a spontaneous group of people here but that's crazy with tarot i mean things can like another thing with tarot this is just like a glimpse at this moment in time people can change their mind people can shift everyone has free will so this is not like set in stone or anything um, but this is just like the current energies. So, all right. So what's some advice for our viewer? Don't doubt. If you doubt, you are telling the universe that you don't believe in the divine plan and divine timing. Surrender and let go. I don't know how much more I need to <laughs> embellish on that. It's pretty, pretty straightforward. You know, don't doubt your own convictions. You know, if you guys, if you guys did have a blow up fight and it ended that way, like, you know, stand your ground. But also at the same time, just, hmm. I just got this overwhelming, like, as I was saying that, like I was saying the wrong thing. So, you know, the last word on here is let go. So I think whatever happened if you want this person to come back into your life, you're going to have to let go of that judgment, that need to be right in order for this to heal properly. So that's your word of advice that I'm getting from that card is you need to just let it go. You know, people make mistakes. You don't, you know, how you choose to forgive them is fine, but you definitely have to let it go or else... If, you, if they come back, it will still just be a mess because you're holding on to something that happened and mistakes that happened. So uh, let's see. I got two that popped out. So laying solid foundations and self-love. So in this time while you're in separation, you know, focus on self-love, focus on yourself, on healthy relationships, find peace and balance within, practice acceptance, accept the past with and all that it is with grace. So yeah. Like, you're definitely being asked just to accept how things went down. There's no need for you were right, I was right, all that stuff. You just got to let it go. Um, that's kind of weird that that was in a self-love kind of card, but that's what I'm getting from that. And then laying solid foundations. A new solid foundation is building in your life. Your foundation is being strengthened and balanced for the new that will be coming in. You could be attracting new relationships or strengthening and solidifying ones that you already have. Focus on building relationships on strong foundations of honesty and communication. So, yeah, I feel like when you guys, I do feel like they will come back, but there needs to be like an honest, kind communication. So, um, 
there's there's a quote and um, by Wayne Dyer and it's like it says sometimes it's better to be kind than right and I feel like that's the energy you need to be in you might have been right but sometimes it's better to be kind and let it go all right pile two that was my runaway pile um, I hope you guys I hope this resonated. If you like this, please like, subscribe, um, comment, let me know. Follow me on Instagram if you want a personal reading. Um, email me at the email in the description box. And uh, thank you guys for being here. I appreciate it. Sorry, I'm shaking. Hey, pile three. You pick so light. This is your pile. Let's see. So will your person be back? What's going on with them? Will they be back? All right, we have the tower. Four of Swords, the Knight of Wands, the Three of Wands, Temperance, the King of Cups, the Lovers, and we have the Four of Wands. Okay. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> just shook you guys. All right, so will this person be back? I definitely feel like the breakup with you guys did cause like a tower moment. It shifted a lot of stuff in their, in their world. Um, even if it was just emotionally, it really, really shook them up. Um, maybe you started a shift in their beliefs. Um, also, if your relationship, you know, possibly caused a spiritual awakening, like sometimes the tower can be represented by that. I can represent that. So I feel like it definitely caused a tower moment. They kind of went within. Um, the Four of Swords is about like a deep rest, like almost like a meditative, meditative state. Like they went in um, a lot of hurtful feelings, thoughts. It's right after the, the Three of Swords, which is all about heartache. So they kind of, this whole tower moment happened. They went within. I feel like they, they didn't spend too much time there. They're definitely coming out of that with a passion and a night is really about wanting to move forward and deliver a message. Then we have the Three of Wands, which is also kind of contemplating and longing. So they definitely feel like they still have passion for you. They're thinking about their longing. They're almost making like a plan. We have Temperance. So Temperance is typically um, shown with an angel with two cups blending them together. So it's about you know tempering two things together, merging two things together. So, and then we have the the King of Cups, which is a very, you know, strong energy that is giving and loving things of its nature. And then we have the Lovers, which is the Lovers. And then you have the Four of Wands, which is about, typically about a celebration or a wedding, things like that. Um, it's also, people see that as the 11-11, like the Twin Flame card. So, I feel like, yes, like... This person definitely wants to come back with you. They feel a lot of emotion with you, but in a stable way. And they're thinking about how to blend how things happen, how to blend things to come back together. But they want to they wanna come towards you pretty quickly. Um, and almost like, yeah, reunite and be the lovers again. Be a couple again. This is a really good read. And this is probably the best one I've had so far. Um, so, yeah, it definitely shifted a lot for them but they're working through it pretty well and i see them as definitely wanting to come back so let's see what other we have attraction so they're definitely very attracted to you you deserve love so they know that you deserve everything i feel like they maybe put you a little bit on a pedestal so maybe coming back they they don't know how exactly but they know that you deserve the best in life and they want to give that to you. All right, we have boat. This can be like moving on, but also arriving at a decision. Closure issues. So, but I feel like with this, they're receiving what they need. They want to move forward with this. So we have engagement ring. So they're definitely wanting to commit. You know, not necessarily ask you to marry them. I mean, they could. But they want a complete union. They want to take this seriously. If they weren't serious before, this breakup really shifted some stuff in them. And they want to be emotionally serious, emo emotionally stable. 
for you. That's a big thing. Like the King of Cups is a very emotional, stable person. And temperance is almost like a divine intervention. So, um, yeah, guys, it's really good. All right, so hand of cards. So they're, they want to take a chance. They want to take the risk. I feel like they're being a little strategic, so maybe you're not even realizing they're planning all this stuff, that they're keeping their, their cards close to the heart, um, so to speak. Um, but, yeah, so they're planning on how to do this. And then we have a new romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. Um, so, yeah, they want a new beginning with you. They want to come towards you. And then we have playful. So they want to be a little more playful about that. So, guys, this is this is good. After the last two piles, I mean, they were bad. <laughs> but this is more promising. Um, just energy. It feels lighter. Um, just happier moments. So... I definitely feel like you guys have some good things in the works, and you can be op very optimistic about this. Um, let's see if we can get some more guidance for you guys. I like to pull a couple guidance for the viewers. What guidance do we have for this viewer? I mean, they should be pretty smiley right now from this reading. But let's see. Raise your vibration. Release negative thoughts, emotions, and limiting beliefs. Old wounds... Do what makes you happy, be in the flow, enjoy life, expand and rise. So, um, yeah, so just keep your vibration high. If you're not familiar what that means, just like thinking good thoughts, positive, letting go of things that don't serve you, any heartache or hurt that went on with this, it's time to let that go. Um, also, this is a new romantic cycle begins, so we have the new moon, so that's about new cycles and new things. So letting the old go, letting the pain go, and moving forward. Um, you know, guys, I think that that's pretty much it for this pile. I think that we... Mm, okay, I don't want to cheat you guys out of any extra advice. <laughs> so let's see. I'm being told to keep offering advice. So let's see. What other things can you do in your time period before this person comes back? Things you need to think about. Um, to make sure you're in the right state of mind for when this person comes back, whatever this one was. Okay. Be here now to attract more love, abundance, and joy into your life. Allow yourself to live more fully in the present moment. Take it easy and enjoy the process. Find more time for fun, playfulness, <laughs> reconnect and rediscover your passions in life and doing things you love. So, in this time period, do things that rise, raise your vibration. Be more playful. Maybe you're being very serious about, oh my gosh, like you're seriously focused on when are they coming back? When are they coming back? I know that they're a special person, all this stuff. You're being asked just to calm down, relax. What's meant for you will never pass you by. It will come back. So just for now, be in the present. Don't think too far in the future. Don't get stuck in the past. Just be more present, be more playful, and raise your vibration. So, okay, I think that was a good card. Um, I hope this helps. I hope you like this reading. Please like, subscribe, comment, let me know. I do personal readings as well. You can um, write me at my email below for that information. And guys, thank you so much for being here, and I look forward to seeing you in another reading. Thanks a lot. Clean up a little bit before pile four. If you're still listening to me, hello, I hope you're doing well. I'm doing fabulous. So, so funny thing about doing YouTube videos is like you just basically are talking to yourself. <laughs> you feel a little crazy. All right. Now I'm done talking to myself. Pile four. The selenite palm stone. Let's see, will your person be back? What are they thinking, feeling, what's going on in the connection? Are they coming back? We have the world. We have the Knight of Swords. We have the Star. We have the Chariot. If you know anything about tarot, you should be smiling right now. If you don't, I told you you can smile. All right. <laughs> Mother of Swords, which is the Queen of Swords. Ooh, we have the Six of Wands. We have the Six of Pentacles in reverse. 
We also have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. I don't really look at these. I pull them all just for timing, but all right. So let's see what we got for a second, guys. There's definitely a lot of really good energy here. If you're in separation due to someone traveling, um, like the world can represent travel or issues like that, um, space and world between, but or they can also see you as the world. So, um, but overall, I I feel like yes, like we have a knight, which I see knights as like yes and charging forward. They want to communicate. They want to come forward and tell you like communicate with you on how they're feeling. We have the star, which is also, a, you know, a very positive card. I feel like they're, you know, they're pouring out what they no longer need and then filling up like their, like water is kind of like emotion. So I feel like they're almost filling their own cup and then they're getting rid of all the negativity they don't need and they feel very guided to do this. Um, then we have the chariot. The chariot is all about forward movement, travel. Um, maybe if you guys are in two separate things, they're thinking about traveling to you to communicate this stuff. We also have the queen of swords, which is also about communication thoughts. So they're definitely thinking very heavily about how they want to come towards you. We have the six of wands, which is a, a card of success. So they want to be successful in this relationship. Moving into these two, we have the Six of Pentacles and the Nine, um, which Pentacles can, you know, talk about a lot about, you know, sorry, I'm trying to think how I want to say this, um, like work focused, you know, someone can be tend to be work focused. They're in reverse, so they might be moving out of that, or it can also mean a little bit slower moving energy. So they might be thinking about all this, but they're still in that like thinking phase about it. They have a lot of really good thoughts. They want to move forward, but with this energy here towards the end, it might be a little slower than you'd like. So you might need to be a little patient, but they definitely want to come back. They definitely want to rekindle things. Um, they want to come towards you. Um, or if another way of looking at this, uh, guys, this is a general reading, so I kind of just blurt out whatever comes. I'm also feeling for some of you guys, if this person has basically been ignoring the situation by focusing on work, I think they're ready to move out of that energy where they, you know, were a workaholic, just didn't want to think about like you and the relationship, what happened, and they're just throwing everything they could into working. I feel like they're going to be shifting out of that um, and ready to come back towards you. So let's see what else we got. We have twin flames, so some of you guys watching could be a twin flame soulmate kind of connection, um, which I will not, um, you know, people sometimes think of twin flames, oh, it's very romantic and sweet. It's a very hard thing to go through, so if any of you guys watching are going through that in this separation, hugs to you, um, but it's kind of a confirmation there. We have Cupid's arrow, so have faith, love is coming, so yeah. They're definitely coming back. There might be a little bit of a hesitation. Like they're pulling back the arrow right now and aiming, but they still just have to be precise. If this person is a little bit of perfectionist, then, you know, sometimes with people with like earth energy and stuff tend to want everything to line up perfectly. They might be waiting for the perfect time, which I'm sure in your head you're like, just come back already. I wouldn't be watching this if, <laughs> whatever, but... Um, just know that they're planning on, they're, they're making their aim to strike. They still definitely have romantic feelings towards you. And then we have luck is on your side, new moon in Sagittarius. So, and then we have another Cupid arrow, guys. So, yeah, definitely they're planning. They want to take aim. They want to come towards you. And then we have conclusion. So, this is kind of like wanting to finish the story that's left open. So maybe, you know, the book was left open mid-chapter and they want to come back in and conclude the story with you. They want a happy ending with you. Um, let's get some, just some overall advice for our viewer. All right, let's see. Pile four, why they're waiting on their person. What's some advice that they can think about or things they need to think about beforehand? Bring yourself into balance. Bring the feminine and the masculine energy within 
into balance. It will make your life so much easier. So if you're feeling unbalanced, you know, waiting or just being a little too much in your head or wondering, you're being asked to, to take a step back and bring your life into balance. Um, let's see, I feel like I need to pull one more of these. I really like these. These are Conversations with My Soul. Um, you can find, it's this Divine Feminine 7777. Um, you can find her on Instagram. I think I got these on Etsy. No, I'm, I don't, no, no, no. I got these from um, a playing card link, like the people make their cards, but they're really great. She has a bunch of different ones. So look her up on Instagram. I will link her below. She's at Divine Feminine 7777. Um, these cards are really great. She has a bunch of different decks and they're really beautiful. I wish I knew her name. But um, shout out to her. I really, really like these. Um, all right, let's pull one more. Everything is just an illusion. What you see in the physical world is not what really is happening in the energies. It is an illusion in your mind wants to see. So yeah, I just feel like you are getting caught up in how things should be or you want to be or how you want to see it. But just take a step back. Everything's working out as it should. Find balance. Don't be so focused on how things appear is what I'm getting. Um, let's see if you can get anything else. These cards I did get from Etsy. Um, they're the Love Compass Oracle. I really like these as well. They can be read intuitively or you can read the whole thing. I kind of just go with, there's beautiful messages on all of them, but they all have a point. So let's see, what else can we get for Beer and Pile 4? Soul to soul connection. You are manifesting a soul to soul relationship. Twin flame. Um, you are connecting to the soul of another. This could be a balancing, bring yourself into balance, a balancing of masculine and feminine energy within. You're connecting at a deeper level. So again, I feel like you need to just go in the time being, go within, balance your masculine and feminine. That came up in both of these cards. You know, not only are you connecting to this person, but Make sure you're connecting to yourself and your your true nature and, um, yeah, just shining how you need to shine. So, guys, I hope that you like this. Please like, subscribe, share. I do feel like this person's coming back if that wasn't clear. Um, if you want a personal reading, you can email me at my email that's in the description box below. I can send you all the information. And uh, thank you guys for being here. I look forward to seeing you in another video.